From your favorite dietitian, everything you need to digest in your mind. Tips, tips, tips with Tony. Tips, tips, tips with Tony. Making you healthier one bite at a time. Tip with Tony. Tip with Tony. Tip with Tony. Tip with Tony. Hello and welcome to the Tips with Tony podcast. I'm Tony Marinucci, your registered dietitian, helping you get healthy one bite at a time. Many of you have been asking about my nutrition coaching program. Last week, I actually released an episode about what it is and what makes it different and who it's for and who it's not for. And so if you haven't listened to that episode, you want to definitely go back and listen to it. It's what makes my nutrition program different and it will inform you on whether or not this is a good fit for you and you should apply. Additionally, I wanted to release an episode where I'm actually interviewing a graduate from the program. So this person, her name is Heather. She's wonderful. She's been an absolute joy to work with. And she is someone who is probably, um, or was probably where you might feel you're at right now. And I really believe that her story, um, a lot of you can resonate with it. So I wanted you to hear it from her about kind of where she was, what we did and where she is as a result, um, uh, after doing the program. If you have not already subscribed to the podcast, don't forget to subscribe. A new episode comes out every Monday and every Wednesday. And if you have any additional questions, do not hesitate to reach out. I'll see you on the other side. Hi, Heather. How are you? Hey, Tony. I'm good. How are you? I'm great. I'm so excited to chat with you today. Me too, as always. Yeah. I want you to quickly just introduce yourself to the listeners and say who you are, where you're from, and just a little bit about yourself. Okay, cool. Well, I'm Heather, everybody. I'm from New York. Um, I work for Metro North. I'm in a relationship. I'm actually just buying a house, which is super exciting. Um, You know, my life is crazy, busy, different hours all the time. Um, So it's hard to find time for me. (laughs) Yeah. But I mean, so Heather is actually a graduate of the nutrition coaching program, which I'm so excited for. Yeah. (laughs) Um, working with you has been an absolute pleasure. So despite everything going on, we've been able to kind of find ways to kind of bring it back to you and help you to take care of yourself and focus on your nutrition in a healthier, more positive way. So it's absolutely. Been- and now it's been awesome. It really has. Awesome. So I wanted to take this time just to ask you a couple questions. I think a lot of people can learn a lot from you. Um, the first question is what main challenge or obstacle did you come to me with looking to solve? So I think for me personally, I think, uh, and I know a lot of people can relate, is that you just get caught up with all these fad diets and everything going on. And I always think like, this one's going to work for me. This one's going to work for me. And I had to really focus on what was good for me and not the world or everybody else. So I think I needed someone to kind of guide me personally to the right direction that I needed to be and, you know, health wise and and just like realistically, what was good for me? Because mm-hmm. I think a lot of people get caught up in everything. And, you know, I just, you know, needed to focus on just me and, you know, and my goals and someone to get to know me and know what fits perfectly for me and for my lifestyle. Right, exactly. Between like your work schedule and you're very yeah. social. Like, you're, yeah. <laughs> like I, you do like all the concerts and like, you yeah. know, big, you have a big family and just like all that stuff. It's true. Like all the other, I know before we were working together, you were, I think you had tried keto or, you know, you were trying to, you know, um, do it on your own. And that was something that um, seemed to like be challenging for you. So I guess that kind of leads to the next question, which, which, what, what wasn't working on your own? So I think just working on my own, I felt like I would just kind of let loose sometimes like, you know, like I would be on track, be on track. And then I kind of just like fell off because no one was around to tell me or to kind of guide me or leave me accountable for like what I would do, you know? So I felt like, you know, I did good for a while and then I kind of just like fell off and then I'm like, Oh, well I had a bad day. Let me, let me drink, let me eat, let me do this. And I kind of just, I didn't really care about the end result, even though I deep down, I did want, you know, I did care, 
but in the, you know, all these times, and then it kind of just leads up to it. And then you're like every day, okay. Oh, what's another day? What's another, you know? And then like that continuous cycle that I think, I mean, I know I fall into a lot and especially with my schedule at work, like I'm working, working nights, I'm working mornings, like it's kind of all over. So for me, it was like convenient to just like eat bad or do this, you know, well, it's easier, right. It's easier to so kind of just check easier. out, but we all know yeah. that that creep to like the creepiness to come back in. I'm like, I can't yeah. do this anymore. It's like, it, yeah. it's back. So we have to like teach you how to think about food, but in a better, healthier way. So Absolutely. Like, no Absolutely. Yeah. So, all right. So what did we implement that was different than before? And when did you recognize that? So for me, I think it was just like having a sketch, sca- like thinking before, like, I think what like really like you were great because it was accountability. I had someone that I kind of like had to be good for. And I was like, yeah, like, yeah, I got, you know, I want to talk to Tony and tell her good news because I know I could do it. I just, you know, needed that extra, like, Hey girl, like, think about this. Like, what are you doing? So like taking that five minutes before, like, I want to like eat the whole pie. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, let's settle down. Let's have a salad, have that. I could still have that, but just the portions, the moderation, still incorporating what I need instead of just overindulging and kind of just not thinking like, you know, so I think that was my biggest thing is like, stop, stop (laughs) (laughs) and really take a second to be, you know, just more aware of what I I know I should do and not listen to that little voice saying, just eat the whole thing. (laughs) It's like the angel and the devil on both sides. (laughs) Totally. It really is. And it's, I mean, I know everybody can relate to that because it's so easy in that split second to just go, ah, forget it. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you really want it, you know, you, you gotta, you gotta think about it. You yeah. Know. So a little bit of planning goes a long way. That a long way. Absolutely. So I guess what was the outcome that you achieved that we achieved together that you're the most proud of? So I think I'm the most proud of just sticking to this and really like taking it in and like realizing like just because my work schedule, like these aren't excuses. Like I really need to just take it by the whole and really just be proud of like, even like the little steps. So before, like even like something, you know, silly, I would, I wouldn't like kind of give myself the gratitude that, you know, I kind of deserved like, okay, I'm doing better. I'm eating, I'm incorporating more vegetables and doing that. Even though it's not a big d- deal, it is like, you know, I, you know, for me, I think that it was really great to acknowledge even the little steps and continuing them and to doing that and then adding another good step and another good step. And then overall, just, you know, having that, you know, um, I guess like an overall, like I'm just happy with like what we, what we accomplished together and planning and, you know, really thinking about, you know, my food and, you know, my decisions. And even if there's a wedding or dinner, like I really implement what everything that we took and all the tips and everything that Tony would tips. (laughs) (laughs) But it's true. It's true. Like you've really been great. And I feel like I could talk to you and tell you and, you know, I just feel like you were a great coach and, you know, Aww. it's great. No, it is. It is like, you've really helped me and you're very positive and motivating. And, you know, I felt like I could talk to you at any time. So, I mean, I, it really was great. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Heather. I really appreciate that. Um, and you made my job very easy because you're someone who takes direction. And like you said, you really just needed a little bit of a plan, a strategic plan, right? Not something that was restrictive and that kind of played into that all or nothing mindset and right. some accountability. And the marriage between the two, it's like a beautiful, everyone wants that magic potion, but there's no magic, yeah. solution or magic potion. The magic is like, get putting in the work and being smart about your choices and learning along the way. So thank you for being great at at just (laughs) being directed. (laughs) Yeah, no, absolutely. I think what I just want to say like real fast um, is that like, 
for everybody, like everybody's different. So what's good for one is not another. And I think that people just have to understand that too. Totally. Um, I, I think that's a really big thing is, and especially with social media now and like this and oh, okay, you know, but just because it works for them doesn't mean it works for you, um, you know, and really kind of take like a, a healthier and smarter direction. And I think that you really helped me with that. Awesome. Well, thank you again. I guess the last question I have for you is if anybody was on the fence and was interested in joining my program and they're kind of on the fence about it, what would you say to them to give them the push to kind of do it? Get with it, people. Come on. (laughs) I think for me, you know, I was nervous, of course. Like, you know, it's like a big thing. It's like kind of, you know, now it's like, you know, you're really, you know, you're really doing it. But I think that if you're scared or if, you know, you're kind of hesitant, I think that you should just do it because it's a great accountability and it really helps you when you have someone to talk to all the time about it. Like, it's not like, you know, you're reading it on the internet or you're doing that. Like you have someone that's literally going to be there to help you through the steps, talk about, you know, what you eat, what you do, what you're put like a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle change. And I think that that's what people really need to take into account. It's not like a, Oh, you know, it's a lifestyle. It will help you in the future. And I'm really, really, really happy I did it. Yeah. Well, I'm just like, I'm like smiling so hard right now. My heart's smiling because I just realized that before you started, before you joined the program, one of your goals was to have these healthy habits in place because you want to start a family. And now you're at the point where you're moving in with your boyfriend and like things are moving. And this is one now one less thing you have to worry about. And now that's going to translate into the way you raise a family, which is so amazing. And in, although you're right, like six months seems like a long time, but it goes by so fast. Like, I feel like, so fast. I feel like we just started working together. So it's like crazy. But, like, I totally crazy. agree. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think people need to think long term. And, you know, these are goals that you can take with you for the rest of your life and implement them on your friends, your family and whoever, you know, so it's not just for you. It's for everybody because everybody is going to be, you know, they're going to be in awe because I'm so good. (laughs) (laughs) Oh yeah. They are affected. You can't help it. It's by osmosis. Right. My boyfriend definitely eats healthier when he's around me. Like, absolutely. So like, you are who you surround yourself with. And so like you said, you're not just doing this for your, for you, but for those who you love. Um, I think a lot of people kind of have the opposite kind of belief that like they are, they're caring for others without taking care of themselves, but they don't realize they're actually doing themselves a disservice. And those are those, they love a disservice, but not filling their cup up first and practicing and developing the skills to be able to do that and then give um, right. as a result. So I'm really, really happy once again. I don't want to hold you up. Thank you so much. Um, you've been a pleasure to work with and congratulations once again. Thanks, Tony. I appreciate it. It's a gift that keeps giving. I'm telling you. It's great. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. If you can relate to Heather in any single way, then you most likely would be a good fit for my nutrition coaching program. But as you guys know, I'm super selective with who I bring on to the program because everyone who graduates, graduates feeling absolutely confident and thriving and able to make their own food choices for a lifetime. So I want to only onboard people who are super serious, who understand uh, the importance and value of nutrition and setting those healthy habits and behaviors for a lifetime, those who thrive in accountability and who are open to suggestions and want that individualized attention. So if you have not already gone to www.tipswithtony.com slash coaching, you want to go there, watch the video about my program. And when you finish watching that video. If you're inspired to take action, you're going to go to www.tipsatoni.com slash coaching. So same page underneath is the application. You're going to fill that out. Once I get the application, I will reach out to you with availability that I have. We will schedule a discovery call. This is a 45 minute to sometimes an hour phone call where we really deep dive into the questions from the application and I help to kind of uncover and unpack what you need to succeed. And if my program aligns with your vision of your goals, then I'll offer you a spot at the end, but only if I feel like you're someone who's going to thrive, like I said, with that accountability and take direction well and you are 
open to doing something probably like you've never done before. If you have any questions, don't hesitate hesitate to reach out to me. Email me tipswithtony at gmail.com. You can find me on Instagram at tips underscore with underscore Tony. That's Tony with an I or the Tips with Tony podcast on Instagram as well. All right, guys, that is it for me today. You've been an absolute pleasure. Thank you again for subscribing. Love you. Love you. Talk to you soon. Tip with Tony. Tip with Tony. Tip with Tony.